I suppose halfway through the year last year, I started to think that it was probably time for a fresh start and, and to move on from Geelong. So I uh, started meeting with a few clubs and, and that was when West Coast came onto the scene. Like the place, like the coaches that I met, so made the, made the trip over the West. He once again is a longer term investment for us. He's yet to play his best football, so hopefully that's in front of him. At the moment we need him to help us out in the ruck a little bit which is great for him because it's not a long-term prospect. Hopefully in, in the long term it's more of a forward that can pinch hit. So he's learning so much and his work ethic, and he has a crack and he never complains and he hasn't missed a session either. So I got drafted as a ruckman but uh, played mostly as a forward at my time at Geelong. But yeah, coming over here, it's, it's a role that I'm loving obviously um, with the guys that, that are injured, it's a chance to develop my ruck craft and play in the position, but at the same time, um, those guys are going to come back at some stage, so I've got to work on my forward craft as well and um, still try and find my ticket into the side. The first thing I said to him um, today was, at least you're still fit, you're not getting injured like the rest of us. So um, we're kind of relying on him pretty heavily and he's, he's taken on a pretty big workload. Um, you know, hasn't been the, the most fortunate guy with injury the last few years, but you know, to see him hold up over pre-season and now and, and deliver what he's been delivering, been awesome. He wants to compete. He's competing for his spot. He competes for the footy in the air and on the ground. Um, and he can also kick a goal too. He lines up the goals and that is a superb finish from Vardy. He's, he's really happy and um, I think he's picked up the game quite well, what we want him to do. And if he can um, continue his form, you know, he's probably going to be a um, good chance to be playing and be a good contributor to us. Uh, he's pretty lucky. He came over here from Geelong and he's got Coxie to work with, so he's got one of the best in the business looking after him. And I'm sure his uh, game's going to go to another level because of that. Yeah, well, I think Bards is certainly over probably the JLT in the first couple of games has improved as each week's progressed. And um, yeah, he's played against some different rucks, which has been really good for his development. And I suppose, you know, probably in the last quarter he stood up and um, had some hit-outs to advantage and probably had 10 hit-outs for the quarter, so it was really pleasing in that respect. Dean Cox spoke to him, just said you've got to encroach in Todd Goldsmith's space a little bit if you're going to get your hand on the ball, and he's done that beautifully in the first two contests. It's probably a thing at Geelong that they didn't really have a ruck coach as such, so the, the time during the week wasn't really spent um, developing your craft, so to come over here and, and have those guys to work with and against um, is obviously going to help my ruck craft a lot, but as well as the, the midfielders that are here too. Obviously they've got a lot of input with how they want their ruckman to play. So there's a couple of Brownlow medalists running around beneath me. So um, that helps me develop as well. It's a half forward party made up Brownlow. It's been very impressive. Watched a bit of his footy at Geelong and you know, when, we, when I saw we picked him up, was very excited and he certainly delivered. Toad to Vardy, Proof chasing him, little poetry in slow motion, outside of the boot. Hopefully, you know, this year he's, he's going to be firing for us in the ruck. Really, you know, really great acquisition for the footy club. What I have found though at West Coast is the, the dynamics of the playing groups are probably a lot different to Geelong. Um, over here it sort of seems that uh, everyone's best friends with everyone. It's like there's obviously little groups, but yeah, like you can go to any group here and talk to anyone, which is a little bit different to Geelong. Finals footy is why, why we play footy and uh, want to win a flag. And obviously the Eagles have had a pretty good history with uh, making it to the finals. So um, if I can be part of that this year and uh, maybe part of the, the fourth premiership for the club, that'd be an unreal feeling.